Hello everyone, my name is Agent Paul of Mobile Task Force Delta-7, codename Bookkeepers, and welcome back to another SCP document review. And the SCP we will be reviewing today is SCP-458. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-458 is considered safe and therefore is to be stored in the staff canteen at Site 17 with no access restrictions required. Description SCP 458 is a large sized pizza box from the pizza chain Little Caesars of their hot and ready variety. It is made of simple cardboard, measures 25.4 by 25.4 by 2.54 centimeters, and weighs about 20 to 20.49 grams depending on toppings. As a result of the unusual nature of SCP-458, measurement of weight is inconsistent. What makes SCP-458 an oddity is that while appearing to be an ordinary pizza box, when it comes into contact with human hands, it instantaneously replicates within it the holder's subconsciously preferred choice of pizza down to the favorite sauce, cheese, crust, and topping. It is not limited to the Little Caesars brand as pizza from all major pizza chains as well as local and even handmade pizzas have been produced. There seems to be no limit to its ability except that it cannot make anything but pizza and its toppings must be edible by normal human standards. See Addendum 1A. The box is also rather indestructible as all tests to destroy or dismantle the box have proven fruitless. It is assumed that the box is semi-sentient, having at least enough telepathic or empathetic ability to sense what the holder's personal choices regarding pizza are. After constant testing showed SCP-458 seemingly infinite power to generate pizza, but with little other use, it was henceforth been placed inside the canteen at Site-17 for free use by personnel. After its open usage has been allowed, personnel morale has shown to have sharply increased. Addendum 1A Upon testing SCP-458 with SCP, the subject took a bite of the slice, which appeared to be garlic-free slice of sausage and olive pizza on wheat crust. This was met with the response, it's a fine slice, but I would have preferred a rather different sauce. It was inferred that the box cannot use substances that are indigestible by regular human bodies. Further testing confirmed this. Addendum 1B, please see document 458-1A. Document 1, document 458-1A. I would just like to remind all staff that just because we have a pizza box that can constantly create pizzas for you does not mean that you can just sit around and eat pizza all day. If continued abuse of the box continues, coupled with reports of personnel gaining unhealthy amounts of weight, I may be forced to implement a mandatory physical training program following lunch hours. Dr. Del Marino. Document 458-1B. For simple curiosity's sake, and to perhaps get a better idea of the mindset of certain SCPs, I have compiled a list of sentient SCPs' reactions when holding the box. And here we have the list. SCP-40 Small, extra cheese, cheese stuffed crust. SCP-56 Medium sliced bell peppers, thin crust, Alfredo sauce. SCP-073 Medium feta and jack cheese, no sauce, thin crust. Footnote Almost immediately after opening SCP-458, the produced pizza began to go through symptoms similar to other organic material within SCP-073's effect radius. Experiment was retired with the pizza being removed immediately after its opening with minor deterioration present. When created by researchers, SCP-073 stated it had never ingested products created by SCP-458. SCP-076-2 Large Meatballs, pepperoni, bacon, Canadian bacon, sausage, hamburger, thick crust. <laughs> of course. SCP-105 Small olive, wheat crust, thin. SCP-108-1 Large pepperoni, thick crust. SCP-134 Small onions, anchovies, olives, thin crust. 
SCP-181, large pepperoni sausage marinara stuffed crust. Footnote, SCP-181 was told that this was a reward for good behavior and that it was a lucky guess that it was his favorite type of pizza. SCP-182, medium olives, mushrooms, pretzel dough crust. SCP-343, large, almost every topping imaginable, with over 100 distinct foods identified. SCP-3300-1, large, extra cheese and pepperoni, wet when removed from box. Further testing on SCPs may reveal some odd characteristics about the SCPs themselves and is suggested. Dr. Crying. Update. Further cross-testing is permitted but requires approval and supervision due to safety concerns. Dr. And that's about it. So, when I visit Site 17, uh, I usually stop by here just because it's nice once in a while to pick up a pizza because it gives you a, a pizza. So like I I get it, and sometimes I'll bring us I'll bring the extra slices back to site nineteen. And yeah, uh, my pizza is a large bacon and olive. Okay, black olives with extra cheese and just a regular crust like let me say it's the average crust <laughs> all right well thank you all for listening or watching this was a fun one i'm happy i finally got to document this one and with that my name is agent paul of mtf delta 7 and i will see you next week with another document review bye